Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you the Minecraft X Discord collab update. So you can see here, the list of blocks have been reduced down to 47 blocks. And to create a new world, you type in the slash gen and then slash show to display it. And voila, a world is created. And naturally, there's an amazing physics engine to ensure that the player is always pulled down towards the ground. Anyways, you might have guessed it by now, but um, this game is run on emojis. So each of those little um, blocks on the screen are actually just a whole bunch of emojis strung together. And the reason that it looks like it's animated is because we're abusing animated emojis. So you can see here, it's an, it just switches emojis and then animates it. Anyways, these arrow keys on the right move the character around and then the square and the circle on the far right controls your selected block and it's based on this index chart up here. Uh, the square increases your index number by 1 and the circle increases your index number by 5. Once you selected your block, the four triangles on the left places the blocks. If there's an empty square, it will place a block, and if the square is occupied, it breaks the blocks. It's that simple. Hey, anyway, now let's build a nether portal to explore the other dimensions. Using the fire, you can light the portal and travel into the nether. As you can probably expect, the nether is pretty empty and it's most definitely not because I couldn't, uh, I didn't have enough time to make more stuff. Anyways, there also sometimes might be soul sand that scatter around, and this one is kind of unlucky because there's no soul sand. Now let's travel back to the overworld. This game runs pretty similar to older versions of Minecraft, like the classic version, in the sense that there is no flying, and you have infinite health, and you also have infinite blocks. And then the blocks also take the same amount of time to break. And now you're probably thinking, this is too small, it's only 8x8, I want to build a mansion, it's way bigger than 8x8. Well, boy, do I have news for you! With a bit of magic and this little nifty command, we can increase the size of the world to 100 by 100 like so. And then if you have animal permission, you can see, you can just pan around with this pan command and check out the entire world. It's 100 by 100, very big space. And if you don't have admin permission, then you'll just have to rely on the built-in panning function. So when the character approaches the edge, the screen pans for you so that your character doesn't go off the screen. You can see that when we pan down, there's also stuff underneath and ores would randomly generate underground. Back to dimensions, there is also the end dimension. Just go down into the end portal. It looks quite similar to the nether dimension if you look at it, but it has obsidian towers, giant obsidian towers, which makes it very unique and most definitely not the same as the nether. Oh yeah, also seeds work here, so if you put in a seed using a seed number after the word gen, you can create terrains that will be the same for uh, the same seed. Anyways, let me show you how great this game is by building this amazing house.
and now we're done with the house and just like in minecraft to walk through doors you just kind of phase right through it yeah another block that you could kind of phase through is ladders so if we move to the right a bit away from the house and then we find our ladder index and then we start digging down we'll eventually find some diamonds and stuff and then to get back up you just press the up arrow key and then you just phase straight to the top teleport to the top and then you want to go back down you can just teleport back down to the bottom so yeah got fully functioning and totally accurate minecraft game this is the minecraft discord update or something and you know, since you made it this far let me tell you a secret you can try this too if you join a discord server linked in the description or the mid comment Anyways, there are also other functions like this one right here. You can slash execute and run commands as other people. There's also slash kill and then there's some other stuff. Yeah, I'll see you later.